are going to read a story today. And the story's name is Saving Salila's Turtle. And this story takes place in India. Who knows something about India? Who has family who still lives in India? Awesome. Great. You can put your hands down. Tell me something you know about India. What do you know about India? The national flower is lo the lotus. Ooh, any other me too's? Um, Siko, what do you know about India? It is extremely hot. It's wicked hot. <laughs> is it hot all the time? Yeah. Yeah. What else do we know about India? Sai? Um, that there's no fall, there's only rainy season. So, a lot of you know about India. So let's talk about drinking water. Where does our drinking water come from? Where do you think? Marina? Fresh water. Comes from fresh water, okay. And how do we know that the water that we're drinking is safe? Dreema? Because it runs through a series of uh, water filters that cleans it out. Okay, does anyone else think that? Okay, I see some me too. What do you think people do who have access to water but it's not clean and safe? If there's no other water that they could drink, they might even drink that water. They might even drink the non-safe and non-healthy water? What do you think might happen to their body? They'll start to get really sick and probably die. Okay, so they might get really sick and maybe some people will, will pass away. Hopefully that wouldn't happen, but you, you might be right. Um, so, we know that there is water all over the world and we know it's a very little amount of water that is, that is fresh water that we can drink. Raise your hand if you've ever seen something that's polluted. It's a lot of hands. All right, so we're going to start reading this book. And um, in your folders, I want you to take out your first page called Pollution and Solutions. As we go through this book, I want you to listen to the story I'm going to read you. I want you to look at the pictures. And when you hear an example of pollution, I want you to raise your hand. Chapter 1. A rainy day discovery. Rain clouds hung dark overhead as father and I walked home along the banks of the Ganga Ma, Mother Ganges. Come on, Salila, let's hurry, father said. I turned back to take one last look at the river. In that moment, something caught my eye. Wait, father, look! I cried as I pointed. What is it? Father asked, scanning the bank of the river. I reached down and picked up a small cachua, a turtle that was climbing out of the water. The water was covered with oil that created slick, shimmering rainbows. Ooh, what happened? Max, what'd you hear? Someone was polluting the water with oil. Someone was polluting the water with oil. Yes. So, let's look at your, uh, at your sheet. And the directions say, in Saving Salila's Turtle, many types of pollution are mentioned. In the boxes below, fill in the source of each type of pollution. Then, try to think of some possible solutions to the pollution. So let's think of the source. Sai, what do you think? From people. How? So like, um, they threw it into the water. Okay, so maybe people threw oil into the water. Any other ideas as the source of, of oil? So maybe a boat in the river that has oil that's maybe leaking out of the boat. So we have people as an idea. We have a boat that's leaking oil into the river as an idea. I'm going to take one more idea. Maybe someone threw a can that was full of oil and then the can like slipped open. Maybe someone threw a can full of oil inside and it maybe spilled open. Go ahead. All right, so in your groups, I would like you to choose one source of the, um, the oil pollution that you think makes the most sense. Do you think that it came from an oil can that someone threw into the river? Do you think that it maybe came from a boat engine? Do you think that it just came from people? A boat can't fit in the game. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 but not like one of those cruise ships that are so big. Ganges isn't big enough to fit one of those in it. But then how would we get across water? All right, I'm going to move on in our story. I can't leave the turtle here, I cried. The water is so dirty, won't it make the turtle sick? People use the Ganges for lots of things, I said. I see boats traveling on the river, people cleaning their clothes in the river, and even people taking baths in the river with soap. There's that factory across the river that sends smoke into the air. Oh, I see some hands. Good, what happened? Uh, Thomas? Uh, the smoke goes into the air. The smoke goes into the air. Is that a pollution? Yes. Yeah. All right, so let's 
see if you guys can do this by yourselves right now without me leading you through this. Remember, we want to think about the source of the smoke. So where did they also mention soap? They did. They mentioned the soap. So go ahead and do the soap. What is it right here? Stop the factory. Stop. Who, who, who the factory? Who the factory? They could design an engine that doesn't have a bad smoke. Oh, okay. When I got home, Father helped me set up a few different filters. We decided to test the mosquito netting first. Ready, set, pour, I called. I layered sand between fabric and cheesecloth. I tried running water through pebbles and cotton. Then I drew a plan and created my water filter design. I know I can't do it all by myself, but that's okay. Together we can make a big difference in reducing pollution. The Ganges can be cleaner for the animals and the people that depend on it. So, in the book, we learned about one, two, three, four, five different steps that Salila did in order to solve the problem of how she could get her cachua and make sure that the cachua was nice and healthy. What was the first thing that Salila did? Sai, what did she do? Ask questions. She asked questions. She did. Or who did she ask them to? Do you remember that? She asked them to the people at her mom's work. Yep. She asked questions to her the people at her mom's work. She asked some questions to her mom. She asked some questions to her mom and to her dad, right? Good. So Catherine wrote up one idea. She talked to, Salila talked to her mom and her dad, and she asked questions of them. And she also talked to some of her mom's co-workers, and she asked questions of them. What was the next step that she did? Ayor? Uh, uh, imagine. She imagined. What did she imagine? Did she imagine unicorns and dragonflies? And what did she imagine? She imagined uh, a, f a filter for the, for the turtle. Yeah. Yeah. She imagined a filter for the turtle. So I'd like you to take a moment with your groups again to fill in that next little rectangle. How did Celia complete the imagine step? Your so group. did she think about what material she needed? And she was imagining some types of materials. What else did she use? The next step, after she asked and after she imagined, what did Celia do? Rishi? Think of a plan. She thought of a plan. What did Celia do? when she planned, when she did this step? What was something that she did? Like, so she um, tried um, every um, material to, and try to clean the um, water out of them. And then That's right. So after she tested them one by one, she put them together, right? And did she decide um, which ones she liked the best and which ones she should use? All right, so go ahead and take a moment with your group and write, decide what you want to write down for this step. How did she complete the plan step. All right. After Salila asked questions, then she imagined what it would look like, and then she made this beautiful plan after she decided what materials would work and what wouldn't work. What did she do next? She created a filter. Oh, she created a water filter. Interesting. After she created her water filter, what did she do? Ah, she tested it. Great. Can you guys chat with your group members and decide what you're going to write down here? So she wanted to make a water filter. Yeah. Get two here and you put one in the middle. So does it have to go in a uh, certain order? Yeah, so that's important to follow the plans that she had made. Salila has asked, she's imagined, she's planned, she's created, and now she's going to improve. How did Salila do this step? Can you guys decide on a group as to what you're going to write down, please? Last time. All right, so we have completed the engineering design process. Hi, I'm Katherine Wilkins. I'm Megan Duffy. We work at Keystone Montessori School here in North Chelmsford, Massachusetts. In lesson one, I think the benefit of having the storybook for our students is to give them an impression that this is a problem that is way beyond North Chelmsford, Massachusetts. So this is a problem that's happening in India. I really enjoyed how um, the book was used throughout every lesson, all four lessons, and that the kids were able to fall back on the main character and give very concrete examples as to you know, what Salila did to solve her problem.